this video, we're going to talk about how to find the basicity of an axis. So basicity of axis, previously we learned that okay, it equals to the number of hydrogen ions produced from an axis molecule in water. So uh, for example, in ethanoic acid, even we got four hydrogen there, but only one of the hydrogen can be ionized to form hydrogen ion in water. So for the basicity of this one is one, and we also call this one monobasic. But if we don't know the number of basis, the basicity of an axid, actually it is difficult for us to write down the equations of it, the formula of it. So for the formula of an unknown axid, we can use HNA, HNA like this one to indicate. And if it's equal to one, that will be monobasic, dibasic or tribasic. So with HNA, even I don't know the rest of the formula, we can use A, capital letter A, to represent the NIM part. So when we try to write an equation between HNA, the unknown axis, with the NaOH, actually we can write an equation like this way. Because we know that, okay, if we have one H, we need one OH. If we have two H, we need two OH. So therefore, we will know that the ratio between these two, okay, it will be one to N, okay? So with this, or uh, more ratios or coefficients ratios, okay, we can do our math uh, easier. So I'll have a look of the first examples. So uh, right now we're going to determine the basicity of acid. Uh, we have 2.17 gram of even dioic acid. So the formula will be like this one. So remember 2.17 gram, it does include the H2O, okay, the mass of H2O right there. So we're going to dissolve it in the water and then made up to 250. And 25 of them, okay, going to neutralize, okay, by the sodium hydroxide. So basically, okay, we have a ratio like this way. We have 2.17 gram and then dissolve it in 250 cm cube. And 250, 25 cm cube of that are going to neutralize by the NaOH. Okay, and the volume will be 25 cm cube at 29.3 cm cube and also 0 0.01, 0 0.119 molarity. So uh, the ratios, okay, the L shape, okay, it looked like this. Get it? So uh, the ratios, okay, are uh, coefficients between these two chemicals, okay, it will be 1 to N. As we don't know, and we don't know the number of particles, a uh, number of hydrogen ions produced from this acid molecules, okay, uh, we can't uh, write uh, equations uh, between the neutralization between these two acid and alkaline okay, easily. So therefore, we'll use an N, okay, to represent the ratio between uh, the acid and also the alkaline. So normally for this kind of questions, what we need to do first, okay, you have to establish an equation like this way, and then we have a uh, data, okay, written down. And number three, okay, we will have to find the ratios of the ax, the number of mole of acid, and we're going to find the number of mole of NaOH respectively. So therefore, we're going to look for the acid and look for the uh, number of mole of NaOH. So the first part, okay, that we're going to have, that will be a uh, number of mole of acid. So part three, number of mole of acid, okay, that will be equals to the mass, which is two point one seven over the molar mass, which is 12 plus 16 times 2, plus 1 overall times 2, and then plus 18 times 2. Okay, so that will be the molar mass of the acid. Here, yeah, okay, the molar mass of the acid, this one. Okay, so mass over mole mass, we find the number of mole, and number of mole of all these, okay, it will be dissolved into 250, but we only take out one tenth of it, so therefore we'll divide it into 250 portion, which is net or uh, 25 of it out from it, okay? So basically for the number of mole of NaOH in 25 cm cube, I'm just talking about this particular boxes, okay? So this one, okay, will be equivalent to 1.72 times 10 to negative three mole, okay? So after we have finished number of mole of acid, okay? And then we're gonna talk about number of mole of NaOH. So number of mole of NaOH will be equals to, um, 0 0.119, okay, that is molarity, times 0 0.0293. So the number of mole right here, okay, will be 3.49 times 10 to the negative 3 mole, okay? So after we got the number of mole of NaOH and acid, okay, which are 
or having titration against each other, we can then find the mole ratio. This is the most special part, okay, for this kind of questions. We're going to find the mole ratios, okay, because we know that, okay, um, number of mole, number of mole of acid over number of mole of NaOH, okay, will equal to 1 over N because we're having the ratios here, okay. Uh, exit in the uh, nominators, okay, uh, in the nominators, and so therefore the coefficient of x will be in the nominator. NaOH in the denominator, so therefore n, okay, will be in the denominator. That will be the ratios, okay. But other than these ways, okay, actually you can rewrite the equations, okay, in this manner. This will be easier for me, I think, okay. We put the alkaline, okay, in the nominator part, okay, and then denominator, we put the exit. Why we have to do so, okay, because if we do like that, okay, n will be above 1. So we just have n, okay, in on the right-hand side. It will be easiest for us to do the math, okay. So let's see. If we use these equations, we just substitute this information here. So we will then have uh, 3.49 times 10 to negative 3, over 1.72 times 10 to negative 3, and which is equals to n, okay, n over 1 equals n, right? So this one, okay, you'll find that n will then be equals to 2. If n equals to 2, okay, then we'll know that, okay, this is a dibasic acid, okay? Or you can say that the basicity of acid equals to 2, okay? So the question word they use is basicity of acid. So you may prefer to use the second statement, okay, to help. So we'll find that, okay, in this COOH bracket 2 dot 2H2O, actually they are releasing two hydrogen ions away at a time. So actually if you are familiar with the formula of the organic acid, you know that COOH will have one H release. So if I have two COOH, actually we have two H release in these molecules. So basically, okay, the process will be look like this. I just give you one uh, few more examples. So second examples right here, okay? Solutions contains 18 gram uh, of acid, okay, which is HNA per 100 cm cube of solutions. And then the relative molecular mass okay, of it will be 90. So we're going to find out the molarity of it. Okay, basically this one is pretty easy. So you have to find out the number of mole of acid, which is 18 over 90. Okay, just it, uh, which is mass over molar mass. Okay, so the answer for this part, okay, it will be 0 0.2 mole. And then not enough because we're going to find out the molarity. So molarity of H and A would then be equals to number of mole over the volume, volume which is 0 0.1 because you have to turn it into dm cube. Okay, so the answer for this part will be 2 mole per dm cube. Okay, that will be part A. Okay, and then part B. Okay, so we're going to have NOH titrate with it. Okay, 25 of X solution. That means from 100 cm cube, I just take out 25. So first of all, you're going to find out the number of mole of HNA in 25 cm cube first. Okay. So remember, this one is talking about in 100 cm cube. Okay. So our uh, HNA in it, okay, will have like 0 0.2. That will be in 100. So you divide it into 100 portions. You just take 25 out of it. So by doing so, okay, you'll find that it will be equal to. 0 0.05 mole, okay, 0 0.05 mole, because you're going to divide it by 4, okay, and the second part will be uh, NaOH, so for NaOH, it will equal to 2 times 0 0.05, okay, that means uh, it will be 0 0.1 mole, okay, for NaOH, so if we use the ratio between NaOH and also HNA, okay, that will be equal to N equals to 1, so you just put these our data into here. So you put 0 0.1 over 0 0.05, okay, you'll find that n will equal to 2. And the n, okay, will equal to 2, okay. So part 2 actually is need to find out HNA in, in 25 cm cube. So this is part 2, and then this will be the part 3, okay. So basically it will be like that. Remember, find out the number of mole of exit and also find out the number of mole of alkaline and put them in the ratio side this way. Okay, then you can find out the uh, unknown n right, right there. So our last examples, okay, so we have like uh, 4.8 gram of exit divided by molar mass. Remember, you can just pause the video, go through the exercise first, okay, and then you just resume it to see how the calculation is correct. So you put it in 250 cm3, 25 out of it, okay? So we're going to neutralize by this NaOH. So find out the exit, 
HNA in 25 cm cube. Okay, I'm going to skip some steps. So 4.8 over 192, that is mass over mole mass, which is number of mole. Okay, it will be in 250, but we'll just take out 25 out of it. So therefore, by doing so, okay, you'll find that it will be equal to uh, 2.5 times 10 to negative 3 mole. Okay, and then, okay, we can find out NaOH, which will be 0 0.375 times 0 0.02. So the answer for this part, okay, it will be 7.5 times 10 to negative 3. Okay, all the time you put NaOH above and then you put HNA below. Okay, so that will be 7.5 times 10 to negative 3, 2.5 times 10 to negative 3. It will equal to n equals to 1. If you solve that, you'll find that n will roughly equal to 3. So the basicity of the exit, okay, will be 3. Okay, so um, summary, okay, for this video, we assume the molecular formula of the exit, okay, using HNA, HNA to represent, and the ratio between HNA and NOH would be 1 to n, okay, but all, you see that all the time, I prefer to have NOH number of mole in the, the uh, nominator, and then the denominator one, okay, will be the exit one, so we will have a ratio of n to 1, okay, n to 1 is very easy to see, oh, it is 2, okay, it is 3, if you have 1 over n, then you may have something like 0 0.5, 0 0.333, then that will be difficult for you to identify the n, okay, so basically of an exit, okay, reflect, okay, in the mole ratio, so therefore, our purpose is to find out the mole ratio between the exit and alkaline, okay, the step to doing that, okay, you have to write an equation, plus n and AOH. So the data, okay, you're going to put it to tell yourselves, okay, the titration is between which levels, okay? And number of mole of A, normally we find out the HNA. If it is in 25 cm a small portion, you have to explicitly to show that, okay? And then we're talking about the NAOH, or the ratios, normally we have the NAOH ratios, okay, over HNA equals to n equals to 1, okay? So this calculation is different from the other uh, finding molar mass, okay, number of uh, molecules of water crystallization or standardizations, okay? But uh, the calculation more or less is very similar, okay? So that's all for this video. Bye-bye.